What is up, Libra? I just knocked over my 70-year-old little Hindu model. Let's hope it doesn't bring me bad luck. It won't bring you bad luck. Don't worry, you didn't knock it over. Okay, I'm not editing it out. I don't even know how to do that. I'm 40-something. I'm having a hard time figuring out YouTube. Okay, so I'm just now a little over a month on YouTube. So please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. And the parts that do resonate with you, keep. And the rest throw away. This is for any Libra, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And also remember, time is fluid. This is your bi-monthly reading for love. Because I love love, so I do love readings. I've been doing it for over 20 years. Because, yes, I'm a little bit old for YouTube. But you know what? My son gave me the idea, so I decided to try it out. So I'm trying it out. Let's see how it goes. So hit that subscribe, that like, and that share button. Um, also, um, everyone has feminine and masculine energy within them. So remember, if I say he, she, king, queen, knight, you know, whatever, I'm not meaning like an actual sex, I'm meaning um, an energy. We both and all have masculine and energy within us. And it doesn't matter when you see this video. Whenever universe wants you to see this video and your spirit guides want you to see this video is when you're going to see this video. And it's going to be exactly the right time because there are no mistakes in this universe. I know people may think there are, but they're really not. Like, we are meant to learn from every single thing we go through. And we really do learn from every single thing we go through. Even that boy in, you know, sixth grade that broke our heart. We learned a little something. That's where we started, you know. Let's slay some and dice some and get you guys going on your bi-monthly love reading. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. All right, we got death. But it is in the reverse. So, when uh, death and when it's in the reverse is always such a hard card for me to read. Okay, because I feel like it's not a breakup, but I feel like it does mean transformation in this deck. In my Robert Hansen deck, that is just the way that I feel. Like, when we have death in the reverse as an overall energy, I feel like transformation is what is needed. Like, I don't even consider it a breakup. You could have went through a breakup. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we all do, especially when we watch these videos. But I feel like transformation is what's needed when I feel death in the reverse. Because death in the reverse, I'm not going to say, oh, you don't, you didn't break up. And you don't need a transformation. No, I feel like that is transformation. And in the Robert Hansen deck, that is exactly what you need. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups for your past energy. So you guys are definitely, like, having, like, um, feeling a little bit jaded. You're feeling a little bit, like, stooped, a little bit of regret, possibly. Like, you're not, like, you have three full cups, but that one full cup that you really want, like, you're mad you don't have it right now. Like, you want that fourth cup. Like, you're like, give me that fourth cup. I want that fourth cup from your person of interest, you know? Who wouldn't? All right, and your overall present energy, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Now this can be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is a very, very stable energy. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're the stable one. You're the one that knows what you want. You're the one that knows what you're gonna go after. And the Queen of Pentacles, like, she seriously, like, she goes for what she wants. Like, she is on it she knows what to do and sometimes when things don't go her way she's like what is going on like i'm trying to do everything right right now so what's going on and sometimes when things don't go right for earth signs it, it can be really hard and i know you're a libra so you are a you know air sign and that can be really difficult too because you're very cerebral but one thing I've noticed about Libras is that you are one of the air signs that actually does like feel your heart a little bit. So it can be a little bit harder on you when you don't understand why things aren't going your way. 
All right, in your subconscious energy, we have the Page of Swords. So this is like somebody giving you a little bit of truth. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, this is like a pages are messages. So it's somebody giving you a little bit of truth, but you feel like someone's holding back. Like, what is it that you are holding back? Like, I feel like you feel like your partner is holding something back. Like, are you hiding something from me and you're giving me just like a little bit and just enough of what I need? What the heck's going on? All right. And in your obstacles, you have the three of rods. This is like waiting for your ships to come in. Like, you have been waiting for these ships to come in forever. Okay, so that is like fire energy. So that's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And you're just like, where are my ships? They're supposed to be coming in. And why are you only giving me a little bit of truth? What What's going on with that? Like, you want it all. Because you're the queen of pentacles and you're also an air sign. And air signs don't, you know, you guys got it together. You guys always got your stuff together. If you're an air sign, like, you work every day, you got a good job, you know how to handle your money, you know how to handle your kids, you know how to handle your relationships. So when you date other signs, it's very hard. So let's see if you're with an emotional sign, because we're only halfway through the spread. Okay, and then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is working on it. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, sorry. Um, it, you're, you're like, we were supposed to be working on this. Why Why aren't we working? Or sorry, this is in the influence of others. The influence of others is probably your influence, I'm almost feeling, towards your partner. Why are we not working on this? We get along so good. Like, we have fun together, we have a great time together, sexy time's awesome, like, why are we not working on this? So you're just like, I almost feel like it's not the influence of others in this, this is the first time I've ever had to change a category in this way, but I feel like it's you that's like, why are we not working on this? Like, we had such a good time together, why are we not working on this? Okay, what you should do category, seven of cups in the reverse. Okay, so this can be um, Cancer, Scorp Scorpio, or Pisces energy. So you're not looking at many options right now, or your partner isn't. Like, you guys are zoned in on each other. You might not even feel that you guys are zoned on on each other, but you are. You are zoned in on each other. Just so you know, this person zoned in on you. You're zoned in on them, and you both just aren't seeing it because you're being shy. Not shy about it, but neither of you want to, like, give in to that. Be the first one to be like, listen, babe, I love you. Like, neither are you going to do that. All right, conclusion. All right, four swords in the reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, you don't want a break. And in your conclusion, you're not going to have a break. This person is coming back. They're coming back to you. They're coming back to love you. Like, we're going to clarify these to see if this is really what's going on or if this is just what's in your mind, if this is what you want. That can be, when I put out the, the first layout, it can just be ever all of your feelings. And then when we go through and we clarify it means we're going through, you know, the universe and seeing what the universe has to say about all of this, okay? And just remember, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. This is for any uh, Libra, you know, Gemini, Moon, Sun, Rising, or Venus, and also times fluid, so it doesn't matter when you watch this video. You can watch it in 2031, and that's when universe wants you to see it. I learned that a long time ago. I'm 40-something now, and I learned that universe is going to want me to see what they want me to see when they want me to see it, and I don't get it sooner or later. I get it exactly when I need it, you know, and so will you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm a newbie on YouTube, so uh, I also give out free readings every week, and I'm giving uh, free decks away at the end of the month, and I will also give you links to learn how to do your own tarot card readings. Like, you can just split a deck and ask a question and get an answer, and I have found that sometimes it's very accurate. It really is. 
that's why, I mean, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I started at keg parties at 19 reading cards. You know, I did a lot of studying, don't get me wrong, I didn't go in there and fake it, but, you know, I always knew I had this intuition inside of me. And I'm just really excited to be able to share it with all you guys right now. Okay, so overall energy is death in the reverse. I feel like this is still transformation. I am fighting that card right now. I am saying you guys need to transform. You guys need to um, both have different feelings and the pride and the ego needs to leave the room. It's like to the left, to the left, like Beyonce says. To the left, to the left, like to the left. Ego, pride, to the left. Like you say exactly what you need and exactly how you feel to this person. Not in such a blunt way where it's going to like scare them because they think you're crazy, but a little bit at a time. Tell them how you feel. Like, this is how it's got to go. All right. And your past energy, four of cups. We're not seeing the full cup. You might have had something to be a little bit depressed about. Okay. Present energy, queen of pentacles. What does that queen of pentacles want? That's Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus energy. It, queen of pentacles is usually stable and precise. Okay. Two of swords, options. Maybe she wanted a little bit of options. He wanted a little bit of options, okay? Then we got the Ten of Swords. You felt like there was a Ten of Swords in your back. Or they felt like there was a Ten of Swords in their back. Like something happened that like stunned this relationship. I'm moving these over because I feel like I'm going to have to do more clarification. Like there was something that kind of stunned it. Like um, I, I, I can't tell you what. I mean, everyone's going to have a different situation, but something like stunned this relationship into stagnation. And then we have the Six of Swords, which is going into cooler waters. Like, you're just, your person or you, like, maybe both of you needed to just go to cooler waters for a little bit and be like, all right, we both need to really think about this. Like, is what we're going through worth it? Is what we're doing here worth it? Like, I need to go to cooler waters for a minute. I need to think. Like, that's totally the Queen of Pentacles because she isn't, she's like the most reasonable person in the deck besides the king of swords but he doesn't think with his heart where the queen of pentacles can think with her head and her heart at the same time so it was just like maybe a little bit of a break time okay then we have the page of swords which is like a little bit of truth like that's gemini libra aquarius energy somebody could have said like a little bit of truth that's in your subconscious but nobody was like giving it all out right away Okay, and we have judgment. It's time to make a judgment call. You know, when we're talking about judgment, we're talking about like authority figures. We could also just be talking about making a judgment call on this relationship. Like what is right for both of us? I feel like both of you are feeling the same way right now. Like I feel like you might want them a little bit more than they want you because they may be very busy, but you're in the same place like am I good for this person because you care about them so much you don't want to hurt them and you don't want to bring any problems to them and you're just like okay like am I in a place like you might have had like a past heartbreak um or this person may have hurt you a little bit and if you get back together like will there be resentment and I think that you actually like worry about that after that we have the knight of cups when we're talking about the Knight of Cups, this is somebody that's bringing you a cup of love, but it is a small cup of love, and it's Camper, Camper, I just said Camper, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. I'm trying to go fast because I'm trying to make it under 20 minutes with these videos, but I mean, this is a small cup of love, but it's still a cup of love, and it's honesty. I mean, it's clarifying the Knight of Swords, so it's definitely honest when somebody brings you that cup of love or you bring somebody else to it. And then we have the Queen of Swords for the second time, so something needs to be cut out. Like, what is it in this relationship that needs to be cut out that isn't making it work? There is something that is not making it work, so I need you to think about that. Like, what is it in this relationship that isn't working for you or them? Think about it for a minute. What is it that's not working for you or them or both of you? You know, there is something here because the Queen of Swords is here twice now. You know, because we had her right here. Or no, we have the Two of Swords. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. All right, we had the Queen of Swords, so something needs to be cut out. All right. All right, so next in your obstacles, we have the Three of Rods, which is waiting for the ships to come in. Why are the ships not coming in? Okay, because of the Nine of Cups. When we're thinking about the Nine of Cups, this is like wish fulfillment. Like the wishes are not getting filled. Like there's something missing from this relationship. But then we have the lovers. This is Gemini energy. Okay, so when you're thinking about the lovers, this is you guys definitely have good love in. But there's also options to be made when you're talking about the lover's card. This isn't all about sexy time. We all wish it was. But no, it's about options. And it's about, like, figuring out, okay, like, is this sexy time worth what, you know, it's worth? Like, can I have sexy time like this with someone else? Or is this a person I want to be with indefinitely? And I so feel like both of you are having the same emotions right now and you don't even realize it. Because they're probably being a little more standoffish than you because they're just a different type of person. You may be a person that may like hide in a corner or you could be a person that's very outspoken. But this person I feel like is like probably keeping to themselves a little bit more. And then we have Major Arcana again. This is your second Major Arcana on the ships are coming in. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, which means it will go in your favor. But it's still going to be an obstacle to get this to go in your favor. Like there's things that you're going to have to do to get this relationship going in your favor or things that your partner is going to have to do to get these things going in your favor. Okay, so influence of others. They think you really need to work on it. That's Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo energy. They really like you guys together. I don't even feel like I need to clarify it. Like everyone that knows you two and have seen you two together like think that this is a great relationship they look at you two and they're like you're so cute and you're so adorable together like i don't feel like anyone in your person's area or like group of friends or yours or group of family like i feel like you guys really both of your families and friends like really like your partner and then his or hers partner and family like like you they think you're good for each other so we just need to figure out what's standing in the way here all right influence um this is in the what you should do is a seven of cups in reverse and that means like you guys neither of you are looking at other options still you're both on each other's minds let's see why nine of swords this is like actually keeping you up at night gemini libra aquarius energy you'd definitely be seeing an air sign we have a lot of swords here um, this could be giving you anxiety, keeping you up at night, thinking about it, like, how am I going to make this work? And it's, it's probably doing the same thing to your significant other, your person of interest. Like, I feel like both of you are having this. Like, I'm not feeling like a, like, a lot of times in these readings, I feel like these combative energies are one person feeling a different way than another person. But in this situation, I feel like you guys feel the exact way about each other. You enjoy each other's company. You're having fun with each other. But there's like just a few things that just are not working out between you two. And you don't know how to figure it out. Like you're like, how do we, how do we make this work? Like how do we, how do we come together and make this work? I'm not feeling like this, even though you're not, you're not talking much right now. You may be texting just a little bit, but I feel like you're not talking much or seeing each other much right now. But I feel like this person, like, really cares for you and you care for this person. And, like, I, like, almost, like, want to shed a tear right now. Like, I'm feeling like this. Like, you know when you get that feeling in your chest? Like, that's the feeling I'm getting right now for you, too that's so sweet all right and then we have the knight of swords so when the knight of swords come in he's very impulsive so and again gemini libra aquarius energy definitely air sign you're dealing with okay and you're an air sign yourself so this could be all your airs you know your energy as libras but i'm just feeling like when you do finally figure out like how to make this work you're gonna rush in and be like hmm or they're going to. 
like and say everything that's on your mind and the way you feel and that's really sweet and then you get the ten of pentacles which is like a happy family happy phone home phone happy home happy finances i'm so so i'm trying to talk faster so i can get this under 20 minutes i'm sorry happy home happy finances happy family you know it doesn't necessarily mean love okay then we have the four of swords which is your conclusion whereas where you guys are going to stop taking that break like that break is going to be over because the four of swords that's gemini libra aquarius energy again i feel like it's air sign on air sign here that's what i'm really feeling but the break is over you guys are like you're going to figure it out you're both cerebral signs and figures and then we have the world and i feel like the world doesn't mean you're over i feel like it's the confusion is over and the world always means a completion major arcana but i feel like it's more like the confusion is over and not the relationship but there's so much confusion going on with you guys right now and then you get the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is probably a person from your past you're thinking about the good times they're thinking about the good times this can be capricorn um taurus libra or libra sorry capricorn taurus virgo energy i'm never gonna try to talk fast again because i can't do it um but this is being generous with us person this is also like just thinking about the past and how good it was and you'll hear you're having nostalgia and they're having nostalgia and being like why are we not together this was an amazing relationship we enjoyed just chilling together like and that's the hardest thing to find in life people can go out and date and party and drink and sexy time all they want but when you can literally like just chill with someone that's the best kind of relationship because that's comfort that's real that's when you guys are really with each other when a woman can have a mom bun in and the man can have a little scruff and stink a little bit and you love them anyways you know and i feel like that's where you're headed okay and then you get the seven of wands so when we're talking about the seven of wands i mean people are going to actually be jealous of your relationship they're going to want what you want you know they're really and you're going to fight people off for this person you're going to be like no that's my person like that's what i want that's i'm standing my ground here and i'm not letting this relationship go like this person is in my heart and just because there are complications we're going to figure this out together and to the left to the left to everyone else like that's what you're going to be like to the left to the left except to your person okay uh let's do a couple of romance angels even though i went over my time again 23 minutes even though i tried to talk fast but i had to clarify my words so much probably took the extra three minutes all right slice them and dice them let's give you a few of these all right, free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. And I really think it is. I think you guys are both holding back and you shouldn't be. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture you need to. If you love someone, you don't got to come out and tell them you love them right away. Like, be like, show up at their door and be like, I love you. Or be like a movie crazy person with like a boom box on your arm singing them a song. But like, you know, call them and be like, and don't text call and be like listen babe let's hang out let's watch a movie netflix and chill all right flirt expend extend your lighthearted energy to others flirt absolutely i mean what relationship isn't successful without flirting i think people should flirt till they're 80. my grandma and my grandpa until my grandma passed away flirted Till the end of their days i mean my grandma was a sexy woman she was like silk pajamas and like a little wrap around her head and she's she was sexy and she was 80 and she was sexy like i hope i'll be like her she was my little pet mama like 
model. I loved her. She was amazing. And I hope to have the same thing that her and my grandfather had. Okay, I'm Stella. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, please hit that button. I'm new. I'm new. Give me a chance. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.